Joanne, it's not a bankruptcy yet. Several other steps. It's not a state takeover. It's not an emergency manager. It is a consent agreement and a state financial review. Everybody's talking about it. Check it out. Wayne County Commission regular meeting this morning. The chairman telling his fellow commissioners the state financial review will likely take months and they, the legislative branch, will play a key role. County executive tells me what's on the table right now, 11 union contracts with thousands of employees that are expired. They're in negotiations. Now, under an emergency manager, contract cuts could simply be imposed. That's not what this is. This is getting the unions to agree to cuts with the state at the table as a player. How much? The deficit is 52 million bucks. The next step is for the state to determine if there is significant financial stress. It's a tool. Uh, I don't want to impose anything on anybody. Uh, I want to be able to come to agreement with folks. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to wait till the 11th hour and say the sky is falling. It's not falling. We're not going into bankruptcy. We don't need an emergency manager. Okay. This is what's most important for you to know. If a financial emergency is eventually declared under the law, it is the Wayne County Commission and only the Wayne County Commission that in the first instance will decide what course of action will be taken to remedy the situation. So there is a lot to happen, but let me give you some key numbers. As I mentioned, the deficit is $52 million, but the bigger long-term debt, $900 million in underfunding to employee pensions, that sounds familiar to Detroit. And remember, just a couple of weeks ago, $49 million was added on to summer property tax bills in Wayne County to satisfy a judgment over pension underfunding. So no estate takeover, no emergency manager, no bankruptcy, but a ton of red ink. Live downtown, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.